Hello and welcome Pixels! 25 games is here and this is part 2 of the texture pattern paint tutorial. <laughs> um, maybe you know this pattern from my last video. I just extracted this pattern from an image. And in this part I want to show you how to get this pattern to your character or in the texture. For sure there's a very simple uh, way, um, I will show you that I prepared the, this pattern in a color version of this, so I just colored this pattern and gave it an outline. And we have here our texture of the character, I will show you this little guy here in Blender as well. If we switch back to Photoshop, then it is very simple to just drag and drop your pattern to your to your um, texture in Photoshop and you can place it wherever you wanna. Um, you know that we have a UV map, uh, this UV map is is laid out and but there is maybe a deformation for the for the texture. For example, if you place it here, this is around the breast and the shoulder, and maybe there is some weird transformation. So if we save this now, I will save it. Bam! And updated it in Blender. Then you see, okay, there's some weird deformation. This is not, this is not what it should look like, um, though because the, the the faces are not perfectly laid out. They are not uh, extracted and they are not unfolded in the perfect way because they are every, everything is connected. Yeah. So I want to show you how to paint directly your pattern in Blender onto this texture. Uh, let's remove this because we want to have it from the start. So again, the texture is clean again. We we undo everything and now let's go to the next step. We want to paint directly onto this mesh. Um, maybe you notice, but if you select your um, your mesh, then you can switch with the tabulator to edit mode, and this is as well the the first thing what we need to do. We need to switch the mode. And there's not only the edit mode and the object mode here on this part, we can switch, we can choose several modes. And in the last one will be the texture paint mode. And the texture paint mode is important to get texture or uh, some drawing or some line strokes onto your texture, onto your mesh. For sure you need to have a material and the and the open texture information. For example, uh, I have uh, created this texture in the past. Um, and very important to know is that this is a single color uh, texture information and the right side of this character is laid out in a very tiny way. So they have very less pixel information and the left side have more UV space because we need the whole tattoo information stuff on this one. So just let you, I'll let you know that there is this UV cut and if I paint there, there will be very less pixel resolution. We switched the mode and what we need to do is go to the toolbar and select our our draw tool. So this is the very first tab here and it, um, it defines your brush or your stroke or whatever you want to do. Um, and we have here our strength. I, I prefer it to have it on one because this is a tune, a tune thing. Um, then we have here our color palette. Uh, and our color, which is as well a very important um, aspect for texture painting. And we have here the, the texture. The texture is, is important to get the pattern into our system and then we can use this. Um, I go here to new and need to select now a suitable texture. So go to my texture tab and go to open. Currently we just have one texture created and I go here to open. 
and I have prepared a folder with Blender texture paint and this Tattoo 1K is our image pattern. So we switch back to our tool, to our draw tool um, and we have it now here. And as well, the second important thing is that we go from mapping from tiled to stencil. And now we have our image here on the left side um, and we are ready to paint this. But you need to care because the, the color is as well a very important aspect. As I told you before, this is now currently yellow. And we have our image here with the right click. You can move your image. With tabulate the right click, you can rotate it. And with shift right click, you can scale it. So you can bring your your character into position with the middle mouse button or with shift middle mouse button and select a good view on your uh, character because it shouldn't be deformed in a way. So you have only one perspective view uh, and this view shouldn't be distorted at all. So find a nice way where you don't have any distortion and place your image. As I told you before, there's the UV cuts and then you can see that the pixel resolution as well. Um, yeah, so with middle mouse button is the character, with right mouse button is the texture pattern. And I place it now here and, and S and F is as well very important. So S is the pipette and F is the brush stroke size. Um, and I make it now big because I want to paint this now. Um, and as you see there, there is, we have selected currently this color. And if I paint now, I will show you just for demonstration that it, I paint this with blue color. And now if I do this, I can paint my whole pattern onto our character. And what is going wrong? We have now a blue tattoo. But why? Because of this color. So we are multiplying our color to the texture pattern as well. So we get a, a fancy new color. And as well, as I told you before, this is the UV space with low resolution and this is the UV space with higher resolution. You see this as well here. We have now painted our texture paint, uh, pattern to our image. And there is as well this very, very tiny pattern on this one here. So just keep in mind the texture UV space, what you can use. So undo this because I don't want to have this blue texture now here and go to a white. And this white should be 100% white. And now we are able to just paint this correct color onto our character. And this is basically all. And this is perfectly placed or if you find a better, <laughs> if you find a better place for this anyway. So there's as well a second opportunity so you can paint your pattern as well in Blender to your image or to in UV space. So we have as well different modes here, but care, this is the UV editor. And we have as well here, the image editor. And in the image editor, we have as well a mode and this mode can be changed to paint. And if we have paint here, you we can place as well our image pattern where we wanna. For example, um, where is this little guy here? Um, okay, this is the head. I will just place this pattern now on his head and bam. It is now here. <laughs> it's cool. And you can do this 
how uh, as many times as you want them. Yeah, if we if we are finished with our stroke or our pattern, then for sure we need to switch back to tiled and unload this image and everything is good and we can paint as before. But I want to show you now one uh, mistake which you have to care about. If we have, for example, this square texture, uh, it's very important that it is a square image because otherwise you will distort your pattern. So I prepared as well another one. So we have created another texture. Then I go here to, te to my texture information and open up the next thing here. We have the tattoo chest and this tattoo and this tattoo isn't placed on a square. So we see here this is placed on a square canvas and this is just um, the canvas it, it, it has originally. So I, lo I worked with this one, it was this 1K um, because Blender is stretching your pattern. So we place now the second test image there and go back to our tool. And I want to start this again, go here to stencil. And you see, this is not the original pattern. It is stretched and this is not what we want on. So we will switch back here to our basic, then everything is good. So just that you know, that it has to be a square. So we are finished here. We unload this. We go here back to to tiled, and we basically just don't want to have this ugly thing here. <laughs> and I will, <laughs> whatever. The thing is, so everything is done, but we are not finished because very important is that we save our doing what we created here. For sure, we need to save our work as well, but more important is to save our texture because Blender is not saving your texture automatically. You, we need to go here. You see the little star, there is some uh, work in progress thing going on and we need to save here our texture as well so that we can use this image as well and export it from uh, from Blender. If we don't do saving the image here and closing everything, then your process is not be uh, saved and you have to do everything again. So this is all of texture painting in Blender. I hope this was some good information for you. If you have any more questions about this texture painting, um, maybe I can answer this in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and if you like this video give us give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you the next time. Cheers.